Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back. It's Mark. Well, I'll tell you what, we're here to clean up some wiring on the Nitro Z18 that was done by either the guy I bought it from or the shop he had install his uh, graphs, which I honestly don't think this guy installed his own stuff. Um, I think this was done at a shop. I don't know which one. But uh, when I show you the kind of quality of what I'm talking about, maybe you'll understand it. Just to me, it's it's utter laziness to uh, you know have the wiring in this condition. It's it's safe. I will tell you that it's uh, it's crimped properly and all this. But what they've gone and done is is uh, used commercial wiring in a marine application. Um, in a marine application, we're going to want to use marine grade SO cord, and this is probably going to be my last batch. Uh, I used a ton of it on the Heritage over the years, so I'm almost out. It this roll of SO went a long way. I've had it for about five years, done a ton of stuff with that boat with it, but at any rate, what we're going to do is pull two lines from the front all the way to the back one is for future if you're going to do this plan for the future you may not ever use it if you have extra laying around which i do this is going to be the end of it though I've, i'll be done okay in order to do this install i'm going to show you everything you're going to need you don't need a whole lot you will need some sort of a socket set to deal with your battery connections at some point, depending on what style you have. A light. You're going to need crimp connectors. These are waterproof. We are going to heat them up with our heat gun. Strippers, crimpers, pair of dykes, zip ties, various fittings, depending on what you want to do doesn't hurt to have fuses laying around guys it really doesn't and remove the fuse from the fuse holder at the back of the battery before we do anything and you need some tape i'm going to do two 12 gauge runs from the front of the boat up the driver's side through the rod locker all the way to the back back there by the talon okay so doesn't look too bad in here. It's all cleaned out because all my stuff is over here. So what we got here, you guys, is number 12 THHN commercial grade wire you'd pull in conduit. I don't like it. I don't like this just extra crap right here. This is uh, made up to the power that goes to the black box now the black box itself i like where it is everything about this is okay what i don't like is all this wire just hanging out in here it's terrible there is a chase way up here we can run all this along here and come back around by the black box and everything can be tucked away and like I said, so our path to pull is very easy. I'm gonna tie off to these two blacks and red. I'm gonna pull my wire all the way to the back. I'm not gonna cut anything um, until I've, I've pulled all my wire and got everything done. So we move to the back. It's a mess because all of this stuff is usually in there so now we're gonna go back here you guys and okay I like these bins for these uh, deals but you're gonna see when I remove these look at this this to me is ridiculous it just flops around uh, you know, you got to be mindful. You got fuel cell right here. Battery for all this is right here. So 
uh, in my case, I have these wing nut style posts. So it's going to be fairly simple to get that apart. We will need a light. It's, it's kind of tucked back in here. It's not the easiest to get to. So this I hate. So this is why I'm doing this. Uh, we got our fuse right here. This is going to be our first stop. Seven and a half amp fuse. All right, so the first thing we're going to want to do is unhook our wires from all these posts, make it safe, go to the front end, tie our new wire on to one of those wires, and then we're going to pull them all through to the back. Let's do it. This is safe to work on. This hot here has been neutralized by the removal of the fuse. So this is our hot. We're gonna retain this. This is what we're going to crimp our connector to from our hot going to the back. By the way, I unplugged the boat from the charger while I'm working on this just for any other added safety. Look at this. I mean, these are brutal. I, but what I can say is we are now free to move about the cabin. As you can see, we have this giant mess we have to get out of here. Like I said, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna, actually I'm gonna get this zip tie out of the way. We're gonna cut this off. This is our power supply from the black box, the Garmin black box, and we are just going to cut this off. I'll be reusing these for our power, but for now we can just go ahead and move this out of the way. We have our ground cut and we have our power and ground from the battery as well. This was the supplemental ground I think I'm going to pull the ground. This has a nice length to it. Okay, so now we can safely pull out the uh, wires on this end. We want to be careful if this catches on something. So what I'm going to do is I am just going to hook it around here for a second because I don't want to pull this through. Now that we got the wire we don't need out of that chase way, we have our ground left that we're going to use to pull in those two SO cables. It's going to work great. Let's do that right now. All right, so what we're going to do is make a nice loop. We got a loop here. We are going to make this loop quite a bit tighter. The tighter you can make this, the better your pathway will be if there's anything in your way. You want it something like that. So, now we're going to take and basically just wrap our wires around this. We got two of them, right? So we're just going to do them opposing like so. And then we are going to overlap this guy several times. 
Now, the good thing about this is, is we're not going too far. So, you know, if something happens, if it slips off, if it, whatever, you can always redo it. It's, it's not like you got a couple hundred feet in there and you got problems. So you want to tape your leads from your SO. I'm going to show you guys something else that's really important. When you do this, see that? I broke the tape right there. You got a little bit of tape hanging off. Do yourself a huge favor and fold this over like so. It's not gonna stick on anything. It's not enough to cause any drag and ruin anything. What it will do when you get to the other end is give yourself what they call a buddy wrap in the business. That way you can easily peel it back off and you don't have to spend time finding where you stopped. And there we have that. Honestly, folks, I forgot to tape this. I should have taped this end here. My bad. So our wire has been pulled in. That took like 30 seconds or less. Now, I know a lot of you are going, well, I don't have a nitro. This is going to be consistent across most fiberglass boats, a lot of aluminum boats. And uh, for instance, on the Heritage and Classic model boats, you are going to uh, basically run the wire up your gunnel. I wouldn't mess around with tearing your boat apart to run some wire. It will tuck nicely under your gunnel going up. So we have our sources back here. At any rate, we have plenty. So we're gonna get back to that. But the key to all this is it's great and fun. You got good wire going in here, but you don't want it to look like this. So we are going to clean this up. So we are going to put on our ring terminals. For the grounds. Uh, once we get all the ring terminals situated, we'll heat shrink them all together. Not together together, but individually, one at a time. Now we just have to attach these, go up front, reattach everything, and really tidy up this wiring. I, I really wasn't impressed, but first things first, we got to heat these suckers up. All right, we're gonna let that guy sit a minute. And I'm gonna go ahead and do these guys. We're all set. So I got a ton of excess in here. When I say a ton, I mean maybe three extra feet. I'm gonna leave this long, okay? What's gonna happen is I'm going to mount everything to the batteries and then I'm going to pull the slack gently back towards the front of the boat. I just, I did not want to be short. All right, now we got to hook everything back up. Okay. This is where wire management comes into play. So I am going to start my wire management. I'm going to get a couple of zip ties going. I'll show you where I put that, and then we're going to work our way toward the front.
you can definitely see a big difference here. The wire is in, it is completed. You see it come up, both leads are going up here, and then they attach up inside and then dive down and take off up to the front of the boat. All right, we should be done in a few minutes here. <clears throat> Just stripping back or uh, pulling back the jacketing here. Going to make up some wires, get the uh, GLS-10 hooked back up, and uh, we'll be done. It was uh, very simple. Uh, you know, it, it helps to have the right tools. It helps to have a clean area to work with clean out your boxes if you're going to do this you guys it, it really will make your day a lot easier so we're just getting ready to be done here this has been a nice little this is something i wanted to do since i bought the boat i think it's a good thing um reaching around in your boat in your in your boxes and stuff and you start pulling on stuff and wires wrapped around it or etc it's gonna end poorly so what you want to do is create yourself a nice place to fish now we just need to make that up to our power like i said we're gonna leave this guy i'm gonna roll him up we are going to wire manage this guy way up front here. You won't even see it. And it'll be there when I get ready to run the fuse panel for the upcoming electronics that are going to go up front. Lighting, uh, some power distribution, and cameras. So, anyway, I'm going to jump back up in the boat, get this all dialed in, and we'll be done. All right. Now, we want to take... And get that wire up there out of our way forever there's plenty to zip tie to I'm going to curl this up right now and make this a nice loop to take it off of here. All right, we're going to take this ground off real quick just because it's easier. This ground right here goes directly to the battery. And for the live scope black box, some say that you want this. Um, I did not have it set up like this on the Heritage. So I do want to see the difference. Grounded and not grounded. Okay. There's that. Now before we get carried away, I want to land the power wire for these guys and then heat shrink them. Sometimes it helps to get your <clears throat> splice in there where you want it and then drive in your wire and give it a solid crimp. Like so. We got one more. Now we're ready for heat shrink, hook it up, finish our wire management. And that is one way to really clean up a bad wiring job on your boat. We got it nice and tucked, goes all the way up front. And then we have our makeup here. Very nice. We have lost all that mess.
All right, our last step here, let's put our fuse back in, check for power up front, make sure all our connectivity is good, shut her down. Next project. All right, well, there you go. Cleaning up that wiring is a big deal. I don't like to see a messy wire job. So to come in here and take, shoot, probably took an hour. Come in here and just redo it and be done with it. It's done right. It's done with the right supplies. And, uh, you know, this is done. We're ready for future wiring up here. Doesn't matter what kind of boat you have. If you have ugly wiring, fix it. Have a great week. I'll see you guys real soon. Take it easy.